Hello and welcome back to the Laura Attraction Secrets Podcast. I'm here today with an amazing guest, somebody who is a very famous artist that you will know his music. He is also an amazing actor. He was in a show called Grownish. He's been in movies. He is somebody that you will for sure recognize. He's an inspirational human. I absolutely adore his energy. Welcome to the show, Trevor Jackson. Thank you very much. Quite the intro, bro. Appreciate it. How are you and doing? Currently, he's doing a British accent. So she's got me in and it's not leaving it. So oh my god, is, yeah. so he's actually American, but <laughs> <laughs> today you're gonna experience... <laughs> never done an interview like this before. Today you're so. gonna experience um a different accent, and I'm really fired up about <laughs> I'm really fired up about this. Sorry. This will probably go viral. I'm sure there's gonna be some things that go viral in this episode. So we're gonna dive in today, Let's Trevor. It, yeah. There's so much to talk about. How are you? You're I'm good. How are you? I'm great. You wanna know that's actually a really big question though. When you yeah. ask someone like how are you? I feel like so many people don't understand, like, how actually are you? You know what I mean? Like, when you ask someone how they are... Oh, well, nobody's really gonna... I mean, it depends how much time you got in the day. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Someone has time, then they probably will tell you what's going on. But most people are on the move. And some people are so curious, uh, courteous of others that they're like, I don't really want to tell them exactly how I am because I might hurt their okay. day or maybe affect mm -hmm. their day. You know what I'm saying? So, so people just like, I'm good, I'm fine. Um, but me, depending on when you catch me, I will tell you the full. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, this. I've been, I've been like places out. Someone's like, well, I was like, well, this just happened, man. If I'm being honest, I can't believe this happened. So I'm just kind of like in my head right now. I'm sorry, is this too much? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're such an emotional being. Yeah, for sure. And your star sign is. I'm a Virgo, bro. A Virgo. Yeah. We love it. You Virgos. didn't guess it, and I'm upset. I about know. That. I was really surprised I didn't guess it because yeah. I thought you were like. You're like a beautiful soul. It's like, he's got to be a Pisces or like a... You're definitely fucking not a Gemini or a Scorpio. I knew that. <laughs> I was like, there's no way because you yeah. don't have that like... Or like, you know... Is that the tail metaphorically coming over and yes, stabbing my enemy uh, right there? Yes. Even though you have a little tail. I do. Look, where is it? Here right it is. There. You have a little tail. It's just a little something. A little yeah, dread. A little dread, yeah. I love that. Um, I love Star Wars. And uh, I started growing it at a time where I was confused about... <clears throat> Who I was or what my journey was. Was I a good guy? Was I a bad guy? And um, kind of just taking the reins of my mm -hmm. own life. So I started writing it. When I started growing this, I started writing. And um, yeah, just kind of being the captain of my own ship when it came to creative, uh, creative things like music and writing. I love that. When did music kick in in your life? Were you like young? Was it yeah, like yeah, no. so I, this gift? Um, I was dancing when I was really young. I started tap dancing when I was no way. like three years old. Yeah, and who I loved was Gregory Hines. And he was a tap dancer. He was a tap dancer, but he was also an actor and he was also a singer. And wow. he was smooth as, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like walked into a room and everyone was like, who's that guy? Wow. So I was very um, inspired by him and studied him a lot. So I was like, okay, I want to act and sing too. And then I did a uh, the, a local show in Indiana called Beaver Boards Christmas Show, and then I did the Broadway show Lion King for three years. And you did the Lion King? Yeah, yeah. For That's three. like my favorite musical. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Jokes I did it for three years. I did it for three years. I played some. I did you played Simba? Yeah, 800 ah! and something. Yeah. 800 shows? 800 and like 40 something. I just shows. want to say, no joke, I have on my phone the soundtrack yeah. to The Lion King. Why yesterday, yeah. yesterday, am I driving along, look on my fucking music, and this is what I typed in yesterday. Whoa. I'm not lying. He lives in you, but Crazy. I listen to The Lion King. I have that whole album. Yeah. And I listen to the Titanic and The Lion King on repeat. Yeah. Like I cry yeah, when amazing. I watch The that Lion amazing. King. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. It's and my daughter's called Nyla. Yeah, I know. I remember what you say. <laughs> so cool. um yeah, no, Lion King is a huge part of my life. So that kind of was the birthplace mm -hmm. of me realizing that there's nothing else I can do on the planet but entertain. <sighs> Because I remember I was like front, uh, well, I was performing and I was a kid. I was eight years old. I'm having a good time just living my life. But then I looked and I saw everybody in the front row was just beaming, like smiling. And I was like, I'm not even, uh, I wasn't even really trying to do that. I was just having yeah. fun doing what I was doing and it could have changed the course of someone's day. So, wow. So, yeah, that's what I have to do. And so you did that for a few years and then three years, yeah. Three years. And after that, moved you moved to LA. So, that was New York. Uh, no, it was a tour. So I did two years on the East Coast, Whoa. then a year on the West Coast. So I was wow. traveling state to state. We were in each state for like a month, yeah, month and a half. Some, uh, some two, three. Like when we were in Hawaii, we were there for like three months, which is why I learned to surf, which is what saved my life. Like yeah, it's a whole thing, but it's dope. The journey was awesome, and I got to. I got. I think the hardest thing when you get in this business, which is work ethic, people just kind of want stuff. Can, mm -hmm. can we cuss on the show? 
Yeah. Like, okay, shit to be handed to them. Yeah. And um, that kind of just proved to me, like, you have to put the work in. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, so I moved to L.A. when I was 11, 2008. And the rest is history. It's been a lot. Yeah. But let's go there. So you, you come <laughs> to L.A. Yes. <laughs> yes? <laughs> okay, it's the nails. Okay, and so now you're in L.A., and you are, did you get spotted as an artist? How did you, like, how, I mean, you've got, some of the biggest albums. You got some of the biggest music. Your music is like it's so transcendent. It's everywhere. People know it. It's omnipresent. And your new album, by the way, is like it just dropped, and I was at the. She was at the release the too. Release. That, that was fun. Really that was amazing. That was, was amazing. Amazing. Time. I was not expecting that uh, turnout, so I was super thankful for that. And I just like the way people vibe to the music. I've been doing this for so long. I've been doing it for twenty years. So um, the way that people. Reacted. It just felt really good. Felt like all the hard work paid off, and mm-hmm. people really vibing with stuff. And uh, some of the pain too paid off. You know, I write from those places sometimes, and then mm-hmm. to see people like bouncing their head and going like this to a song you made, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, you know, feels pretty good. <laughs> I love that. It's such a natural with it. Okay, so it's called Complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. Yeah, it's complicated. What's your favorite? song on the album that someone can go and listen to today. Mm. Well, it depends, obviously, because it's depends yeah, on it depends. Going But I'll through. say Find Out or Happy Home mm. are probably my two favorite songs. The album essentially is about, uh, it's a love story mm-hmm. between a guy and a girl, but the girl happens to be in a relationship. Um, and that's the situation. He, uh, it's complicated, exactly. <laughs> I said that actually real, but that's why it's called that, because every time I try to explain it, I'm like, it's complicated. Uh, but yeah, it's like, in my head, they were together. They broke up, they got in new relationships, but they still had like a little thing drawing them to each other. But it was confusing because although they had a, these set of rules and, you know, hey, no emotions involved, it's just physical, then you start developing feelings. And a lot of guys will tell you, hey, man, I love being the guy on the side until you actually start liking the girl. Mm. And you're like, oh, whoa, is she doing that thing with him that she did with me? Or is she cooking the same stuff? Is she mm-hmm. laughing the same? Are they touching hands and thighs mm-hmm. while they're watching on the couch? Like mm-hmm. just little stuff that mm-hmm. kind of really, I think, has more impact. Anyway, mm. so I wanted to be a little more open and uh, sensitive to those. Wow, that's very beautiful. Well, love's a big topic. Yeah. Have you ever been in love? Yes. I've been in love, um, I think, um, 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 like mm, three times, maybe mm, four. Mm. I love love. Yeah, love is it's beautiful. My, it's my favorite thing. Are you kidding me? It's the most healing thing. Isn't it the most healing? And it's so beautiful if you don't go in and love whole and yeah. then take the risk of being hurt. Yeah. And you'll never love at all. Yeah, you'll never love at all. And also, you can never regret giving your all to anything. Agree. Even if you fail, you know? You give, also give have right to hand. heal, I think, before you get into a new relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, I always ask someone before I'm with them, I'm like, are you healed? Mm-hmm. And the problem is with so many people, they'll be like, yeah, I'm fucking healed. Like, yeah, like, I'm this big bro. Like, I'm good. It's like, <laughs> really? Was that your American? That was, no, my American's hardcore. Let me hear it. Let me you hear it. Hear it? Yes, please. Okay, give me, I'll do LA. Okay. I, okay, so look, so usually I thought you've seen me on stage, right? Yep. You've seen my, my, like, you've seen at least clips of me on stage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm like a big voice and it's British, right? It's yeah. like who I am. If I change my accent and I go to LA, I just don't, you don't take me so seriously, right? It's like, <laughs> it's like, look, all of a sudden, I'm like, boo, can we hang out? <laughs> Don't I sound so ditzy? Like, I don't know. It's I wouldn't want to be here like this. It's very, very, uh, very good. Ah, that's like the they ah, at the yeah. end of everything, right? Yeah. Something like, like that. Oh my god, yeah. Babe, it's a fuck no. It's like, a fuck I love, no, babe. I love the accent <laughs> for other people, but uh, for me, the reason that I'm my, what's my USP, my unique selling point, the fact that I'm foreign and British, yeah. A unique selling point. Yeah, what's yours? Um, oh man, I do a lot of things. Yeah. Quite versatile. Okay, go tell me. Uh, what? What are your um? What's your USP? Oh, oh, oh yeah. my USP. I think, uh, or I consider myself a renaissance man. Yeah. You know, I sing, I rap, I act, I play guitar. Mm, I there surf. we go. There we go. You I surf. just do a I lot of that. different things. Mm-hmm. I paint, I charcoal paint. I, do you really? Yeah. It's more of like, hey, can I do that? And then I prove to myself that I can do it, and then I move on. That's beautiful. Yeah. I really like that. But things that are exciting, and, and that's the, I like the... Um, me, I'm trying to always put myself in more new places recently. I've been wanting to feel differently, but would stay in the same areas, hang out with the same people, do the same shit. And I would be surprised when I don't feel differently. So I'm just trying mm. to like do new activities, try new things that maybe I hated doing before. Even something as simple as changing the trash. I hate doing that. Mm-hmm. But lately I'm like, hmm, 
new experience. <laughs> really interesting that you're going there with the trash. <laughs> yes, we all need a man that will take the trash out for mm, us. Yes, yes. And if he doesn't, is he even a man? Yes, he is. He's just uh, maybe a different man. Here's what I have to say. There's levels to it, okay? There's no set of action or set of things that can define a man. A man takes care of his own, and his life should not be chaotic. And if it is, he should be the peace in the chaos. Mm. Okay. That's beautiful. By the way, just going on to what you were saying, because it's a really powerful point, you expected to see a change, but you weren't changing your circumstances. Yeah, exactly. So there's a, a quote, a really famous quote, it's in my book, and it says, if you always did what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. So if you always do the same she thing. She said that before and she's done that voice before and the eyes also. Very cool. I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did what she always did. Then you again. She always got. It's the eyes after. It's a look so and then it's a. good. No way. I can't. I can't do her accent. Your accent is hard to do, actually. You know, I've practiced like the more loose, like. But where yeah. would you say you're from? I'm from Oxford. Which is like more north, wouldn't so it be? So it's like, I don't know if it's north or south of London. Oh, fuck, that's really embarrassing. My geography's terrible. Yeah, mine as well. Oh, really? Okay, so like basically it's somewhere near London. If London is here though, is it north, is it south, is it east, west? Like, south. North. north. I was right, yes? No, no, she's like... We're going to fucking find sorry, out. My geography's north. terrible. I don't even but you know, know what I mean? This is, you can, yes. Okay, so no, now you do a southern accent. It's I want to hear your version of like uh, a southern Oh, I reading. love it. Honey, I like the south. It's no, no, that one is that good. That means south. south London. Oh, south London? Oh, okay, okay. I wait for American. Okay. <laughs> oh, like, they just don't pronounce their T's. Like, they speak like that. Like, like more northern. Like, they don't even yeah, like say it. they don't even say it. It's like, it's it's just trash. It's not, not, not trashy, but it's yeah. not, there's no... There's no class to it. It's not as proper. Yeah, it's like, it's a bit like, this is quite Essex. Essex is cool, but it's like not, not a classy accent. No, like, like in it. if I spoke like, in it, if I spoke like this, wouldn't you be like, she's just not classy? Do you see again, that's another example of an it's accent. Yeah, no, right. it's quite good. Though. Yeah, yeah, you do. I like, I love the fact that you do accents. Where is it? London, Oxford. It's North, I was right. Northwest. Northwest. Yeah, you were right. right. So you, have you not even to, from there. Have Denver. you been to the UK a lot? No, I have not. I'd love to know. Really? Yeah, Never know. been? Bad. Never been. Whoa! It's the place from my you most... You um... do a show there. Yeah, no, I'm trying to go this year, in November. Yeah. So for my tour, I want to do, like, three shows there. And, um... When I connect you with... Are your friends with Ja? Ja Rule? Ja Rule, the rapper? Yeah. Um, am I friends with him? No, but I know the guy. Okay, cool, yeah, he's a really good friend of mine. We just oh, built... Okay, yeah. we, uh, like, we both built schools together. Oh, in, amazing. Yeah, it's in beautiful. charities. Um, in the same charity. We, he's a really good friend. But he does loads of tours in, yeah. like, all over. I definitely want to go over yeah. there. So, um, I want to start my tour there and then end it here in the US. Um, yeah. I love that. Very excited. But yeah, no, like, my most streams and, like, all the people that are fans of mine are in the UK. I've never been. I love that. Someone's sitting here going, is he actually British? He sounds so scary <laughs> British! Like, what the actual fuck? This is so funny. Okay, so yeah, that's an amazing tour. Well, guys, by the time this is out, it'll be out very soon, but keep in touch because Trevor's gonna yeah, have please. his socials below yeah. so they can go on your tour. I love that. I've okay. always wanted to do this like imaginary point, do you know what I mean? And the thing is here in the post. <laughs> can we try and make something come on the it's screen? Right Just come there it here. is. And then my name is here. And then if you look over here, it's also my Facebook and my Twitter and my Instagram right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking crazy, I love this. Okay, if you had to write a book, what would the title be? Internal Glimpse. Oof. That's a great album cover, too. I already have an album it's done. Oh, you, another it. one it's you've an got album. already? Yeah, it's an Wait, so you've already... I have already... three albums. Oh. I'm sitting on right now. Are you signed? I'm um, currently partnered up with um, United Masters. Nice. But um, we might be doing a deal soon. Ooh, that's so but, exciting. But these albums, honestly, are like... Gold they're place. next. They're next. You know what I mean? It's like the stuff I felt like I just released, which I absolutely love, and please go listen to that. Um, but it's all a part of the story, you know? I like to... I always say I hate when someone comes into someone's life who hasn't been through much and tries to tell them, like, how to be or how to think um, without going through the full journey. Or, like, let's say I go to prison. I ain't never been to prison. I'm trying to talk to people about life in prison, and they're not going to listen to me. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to show the journey and the evolution of my mind, of my... You know, my body, my thoughts, and um, my albums kind of do that. I love that. Well, you're R&B. Like, you're very much, yeah. like... But it changes. Yes. It turns into pop. Like, the stuff that's coming out is, like, very pop, oh. very acoustic, or, like, conscious love rap. Like, it's just that. an evolving thing. Conscious rap. 
Yeah. That's beautiful. I think that's really important in today's world because the music industry just like is so much filled with like this bitch and her titties and yeah. like, you know, I know a lot of my artists have been on the show and my friends and people that I coach are big artists and rap like that. But like, that's not necessarily who they are behind yeah, yeah. the scenes. But I appreciate when an artist doesn't have to go down the route of like, I fucked her in the ass 10 times and yeah. like had an orgy on her. I've never heard this record, but I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to hear it. But like, I've never fucked her in the ass 10 times and had an orgy on her. She was the table on which we had the orgy. Never heard this. <laughs> I'm dead. This is so good. So talking back about you are an average of the five people that you spend time with. If you don't change things in your life, then things won't change in your life. Yeah. So you have to first look at who you're with. We're an average of the five people, right? So if you are hanging out with people like your amazing brother, who I just met, yeah. great. And then you have another four people who are yeah. also elevating you. Yeah. So are you surrounded by people that have helped your success or are you still all the time tweaking it? Um, I think I'm all the time tweaking it, but for the most part, the most important people, him, my mother, um, That's beautiful. my mentor, Ashe, and my brother, Michael. Mm. Those are like the four people that have been around the most, I'd say. I and, love them. Um, yeah. I love them to death and uh, they understand me, they accept me for who I am and they're constantly pushing me to be a better person, a better man, a better artist, so... I love that. I keep them around then. And they keep me around, you know, they could have left me years ago. I'm, I'm not the easiest to deal with, but um, I'm thankful. But I like that, that you're honest about that. I'm not the easiest to deal with. Like, I know that, that in a relationship, I'm what you would call crazy. Yeah, but I that's, see that. But that's passion. It's not some crazy bitch. It's... Passion. That's what I say, bro. <laughs> they call me crazy and I say, I'm just passionate, man. <laughs> I've just got a lot of passion, do you know what I mean? By the way, when someone calls someone crazy in a relationship, let me just say something. It's also, I like you a lot. When someone yes. says you're crazy, it's like, oh, but they're really saying, I like you, and I don't know how else to label it. Mm. So I'm like, you're crazy. You're crazy. But yes. they're saying, I like you a lot. You're yeah. funny. I really want to get with you. You're fucking cute. That's really what everybody's saying. <laughs> Exactly. Every and time I've heard by it. the way, a fucking amazing, empowered woman who's successful is never going to be a little mouse and be like a yes woman. Because no. she's coming to the table like, I want to empower you. Mm. I want to raise you up. Yes. I want to see you succeed. I want to win with you. Yeah. I want to multiply you. Yeah. That's a real woman. Yeah, it is. You're not scared by a real woman. No. Why? I'm not scared by anyone else as a human being. Mm. You know what I mean? We're all the same. I mean, everybody has different things Agreed. that they bring to the table, but like. I approach and treat everyone with the same respect and love that yes. I'd expect. Yes. Um, and maybe not that I'd expect, because oftentimes I never get the love I give, but I'm always going to give it. Mm, I'm the same. Yeah. And I'll go all the way and I'm like, okay, they're not loving me. Yeah. But you know what? I'm giving me and I can only do it for a certain time. Yeah. And if that time just like runs out and it has its sell by date, then I'll just, you went past your sell by date. Yeah. If they don't show love back, like there comes a point where you're like, okay. And, and move on. Yeah. Like, I've been married twice for that exact reason. Like, if you are with somebody and they just don't grow with you spiritually mm. or they treat you not good and you love them so hard mm. and they just, like, go cold or whatever the fuck it is, like, oh, shit, there's a sell-by date on you now. You know? Yeah. Don't you? I think you guys say sell-by date here. Never heard that until today. Really? <laughs> but I know what you mean. It's only on the milk cartons. Yes. Sell-by date. Yes. I think they just expiration dates. Expiration. Expiration. No, but you guys but have we don't, I've never said this. Okay, and I'm not saying it isn't cool. I love it. I think it's impressive. I just, my personally, have never used it. But sell by date. I love that. Like if, sell by date. If expiration so, date. I love that. Okay, wait. Going into more things about you. Tell me your three biggest qualities as a human. Like empathetic. Mm -hmm. Relentless. Um. And loving. Wow. Loving, I feel like, is always cheating, but it's true. I do lead with that. Um, and I also won't stop after the things that I want in life. I will continue to go. I could be lose arms, legs. I'd be rolling to the goal. You know what I mean? I Come love arms and legs up. Um, and what was the first thing I said? Oh, empathetic. I feel like I know people, even if I don't know them or understand them. Like, I don't need to know someone's whole background to know how I think they handle life yes. and problems and situations. <clears throat> which allows me to love. Yes. I feel like people only hate things they don't understand or things that they're afraid of, but because I feel like 
I personally have been through a lot, and even I just I, I understand. And I think also being an actor helps you tap into stuff. You know, it does. Quickly. Do you do method acting when you? Um, are? it depends. Well, I haven't done it much, but um, I respect it, and I think it just depends on the role, the role that you're working on. How do you, do, you do like combat? Can you fight? Do yeah, you do I did, I've done martial arts for a long time. And you do like so you have to watch Superfly. You have to see that. I'm gonna see it. This is the movie that you're. We're gonna in. write it down. Let's we go are together. gonna actually. Is write that it. your banana? Yeah, Dwight. Do you really want to eat it? No, I don't really want. I love bananas. <laughs> I don't want it that bad. I really love bananas. You see the way she pet it? I really love bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, I'm gonna write it down. So, Superfly. Yeah. I did this movie when I was 20 okay. years old. Wow. I, I played 27 in the film, but I was 20. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna let you know it's the link below as well, because then we can all watch it and talk yeah, about it. Yeah, it's a it throwback together. thing. And it was cool, you know, I was 20 when I did it, and um, I grew up watching Matrix and Blade. These are things that I, you know, worshiped at the time, and so I kind of got to live that dream of wearing long leather. Outfit and whipping ass. Well, I love that, like the Matrix yeah, vibe. Slow I still the wear that stuff. Of the Matrix produced this film. Oh, that's why yeah. you were doing it. Yeah. Now everybody wants to see what Trevor looks like in a Matrix outfit. I have a matching one. Oh yeah. I wear like yeah, I wear the you like have the circle glasses. Oh, I don't have that part. What do you have? I have the long leather jackets. Mm -hmm. I was wearing leather the other day when we bumped into you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were. I love leather. Like I think I live in. Oh, I'm wearing it right now, but I wear a lot of it's like. Very cool. Yeah, this is Rick Owens. I like Rick this Owens. This is Rick Owens. Rick Owens is really cool, but I don't, I don't wear just any it. leather. I wear Rick Owens. <laughs> that was an amazing commercial. <laughs> have, you ever done, have you ever done a commercial? Uh, yes. You have? Many. Before I did anything, I mean, I was out here when I was 11, auditioning, auditioning. I've done like a Wii commercial. I did a T-Mobile, Target commercial. Yeah, I was a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> and your family are really involved in what you do. By the Absolutely. Sound of it. I need it. I need it. It's the only people I can trust for real. Yeah. yeah. Having people who you can really love and trust is everything. Yeah. I agree. My I have four sisters. My mom's currently out here right Who's now. Those? Me, of five. Mm -hmm. Four sisters and a brother, and that is everything. Family is so important. Yeah. But I miss them so much. Go see them. They're in the UK. My mom's here, thank God, okay. for two weeks. She leaves tomorrow. I'm so sad. Mm. I'm like, I know, so I feel so alone when I don't have my Are you guys twins? Here. Me and my mom? Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, she's just everything. She comes in the morning, she's like, here's your breakfast, here's what you need. I'm like, I love her so much. My, you're close to your mom? Yeah. That's very important for a man. I have a son, and he's such a mommy's boy. Yeah. Are you a mommy's boy? I'd say. That's so beautiful. Okay, more things that I want to know because this yes. is like beautiful. Law of Attraction Secrets. Do you yes. practice manifestation in any way? Like, do you do anything towards you ingesting being the best of who you are? Let me give an example. Every day I wake up and yes. I have a morning ritual. I wake up, I hug my body and I'm like, I love you. And then mm. I tell my body how grateful I am to be in my body. And I'm like, thank you for my perfect health. Thank you for that. I'm here. I then do a meditation for forgiveness because there's always somebody that we need to forgive. Or I do a meditation to envision my day and how I want it to go. And I'm like, I'm gonna achieve this. I'm gonna hit this goal. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get this. And then I do affirmations. And I'm like, as I'm like walking to the bathroom to brush my teeth, to walk around, I'm like, I'm a magnet to the best people, events, and places. Everything I touch turns to gold. The world loves me, right? Yeah. I just say these over and over. Amazing. What do you do? I, um, I'll pray before bed. I and that. I pray in the morning, and then I'll do uh, I'll do that sometimes in the mirror. Mm -hmm. If I wake up, I'm mm -hmm. like, hey, you have a great day. You look good, smell good, feel good. <laughs> <Yeah. you know? laughs> and then again, yeah, people love you, things like that. But uh, recently, the gym has been my place of that. So when I'm lifting, I'm like, you have this is for the things that you want, and it's synonymous to life. It's going to get hard. It's going to get heavy. You push through. Um, and I have some YouTube that I'll go to, like, motivational Speeches, you know, people talking for like an hour with oh, yeah. dramatic Harry music Thomas. in the back. I listen to all that shit too. Get up and run. <laughs> you got a dick to you. They're not gonna give it to you. The world ain't gonna give it to you. But I speak on stages you know with these saying? guys. Yeah, have, you, have you come across one of my speeches on the YouTube yet? I'm in um, those mixes. Okay, sick. I need to do your yeah, yeah, yo, my shit will wake you up. You know what I mean? You'll With be the dramatic. Fucking pumping okay, like, bad, bad. oh my god. <laughs> okay, sick, sick. 
So yeah, you're next. You're next. But stuff like that. I love that. Okay, so that's really inspiring. That. What are the top three books that you've read recently, or you would like to I don't read? read? Books. You I don't. Do a lot more of that, but, but yeah, I don't. You read scripts like that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What Not about really. listening to a book? Mm. Do you think we should give him one of my books, you guys? Yes, that I'll read. I feel like good, so I'm gonna. I was meant to bring you one. Okay, so you have to come by she mine, said this the last and then you can. Can... I'm actually gonna bring you my next time I see you. I'm gonna have a book. It's gonna be your book. Okay. Oh okay, so I'm gonna bring you my book next yeah. time I see you, and then you can read it. Yeah, and um, but the audible version's better because there's a meditation in it. It's you talking. Yes. Oh my god, it took me. 14 hours. Mm -hmm. They Makes said sense. it was going to be intense. Makes sense. Cause I, and I also feel like you want it to sound the way you want it to you sound. Do. So you keep going back. And like, yeah. I want it to be right. Yeah. Say, well, so actually, so I'm if you so ever... <laughs> and also, if you um, <laughs> swallow on a word, you have to go back and do it. Yeah. So it's so weird. It's like, oh, no. you And if you mispronounce somebody's name, that's a whole thing. I yeah. was like, I had to retake something five times because this fucking name was like... Do, 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 do. You know, one of those like mm. crazy names that like needs help with accents. Anyway, that was that. <laughs> Tell me a secret or something fun that your family would say about you. Something funny. Something that you're, we're bros in the room right now. Yeah. So maybe we ask him. Yeah, Tell he me, might know. Tell me something that like, so if I'm asking him, what would your family say about you? Give me something funny, like something that's like. Funny about him. Yeah, like what would, what would your family say? Like, he wakes up and he does 20 jumping jacks, or like, I don't know, he's very do do do. What would it be? Trevor, sometimes, uh, you gotta fact check him on his embellishment sometimes. <laughs> when he tells a story, Trevor's dramatic. He grew, up, he grew up dramatic. I love Come that. Come on, it's real. Guess who's the fucking same? My family I... would say this. Me. My like story. Hundred inches out there. I swear. And hundred and fifteen inches. One ninja turtle came out of the sewer, dapped me up, jumped back in the sewer. That's why I'm late. Oh my <laughs> god, that's so good. No, I get the same. But by the way, part of the reason for success on our kind of level is because of the way that we tell stories. It's because of the way that we create a scene in our head before it's happened. That's what scripting is. What I teach, you write down what you want in the past tense, a whole story about yourself, like it's already happened. And you embellish it and you activate it. Like, I met the love of my life and we fell in love and we moved in together and we had babies and we put a fucking zoo in our garden and we loved our life together and we went and did whale watching and like, you know, whatever it was, you just go crazy with yeah, this yeah, yeah. embellished story and then watch it come to fruition. The more embellishment, the more likely you are to achieve it. Because you're writing something that feels so imaginary that you're in it's it. It's almost like the shooting for the moon, and if you miss, you land on a star. It's yes. Like because you're riding so far ahead, you're going to get to the place that you're trying. Yes. Because you're kind of pushing the boundaries already. Although imagine two people like me and you in a relationship, it would be like, how was your day? Unbelievable, I went to the moon. <laughs> Flew. <laughs> like, yeah. And check this out. Well, you can't see it, but there's webs coming out, and it's because I was bitten by a radioactive tarantula. Um, and now I am who I am. Oh my god, and like, how was your day, babe? It was incredible. I have five milkshakes that, like, exploded out. <laughs> five milkshakes. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. My god, who's the reality check? <laughs> I love that. Okay, if you could see yourself yeah. five years from now, mm -hmm. where are you? I'd like to have some Grammys. I think that's already happening I'd right like now. To have some Oscars. Mm. Maybe not Oscar. I like at least a nom. Because I'm cool with I'm the one thing I love about acting. I can do it when I'm old. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool on the Oscars. But I'd like a nom, or at least a project that I feel like I really could sink my teeth into. You know what mm. I mean? I feel like I've been doing a lot of comedy and some light stuff lately. I mm -hmm. want to like dig in and like. You know? Get into a real yeah, world. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that. Mm, that's um, interesting. But also, I'd like to be um, happy, and I'd like to have a better handle on myself, um, and in the best shape of my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Those are really good goals. Do you write goals regularly? Do I write them down? No. Mm -hmm. But I say them. You say them aloud? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's still good. Kind of good. Yeah, it's kind of good. It works. You just got to believe them. Yeah. Believe it into existence. Mm -hmm. 
So my book's called Be It Till You Become It, because it's a take on... Be It Till You Become It. Mm -hmm. That's like Muhammad Ali. That's why I love him so much. He said he was the greatest before he even knew he was. You got it. But, um, yeah, he's the, I think he's the definition of manifestation, honestly. Mm. Somebody who's like, I am the greatest. Mm -hmm. Before he had one fight, I, and no one can beat me, I'm above, and he is the greatest. And he went on and did it. No, I yeah, love that. Yeah, you have yeah. to believe it. Yeah, like, yeah, before you were a singer, because bear in mind, you've done it all at the same time. You're a triple yeah, threat. Yeah. You do the acting, the singing, the dancing. Okay, yeah. so before you dropped your first album or your music became the success it is now, did you know you were going to be a successful artist? Yeah, only because I, again, the relentless is mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. And I think anybody has the, the capabilities to do anything. That's why I'm like, people are like, oh, I can never sing, or I can never, you know, uh, uh, do a talk show, or I can never anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, people have these limitations, but it's only because you don't put your energy there and you don't dedicate mm -hmm. your time to that mm -hmm. space. For me, all I do is write music, all I do is record, all I do mm -hmm. is sing all day. Anybody who knows me is like, Trevor doesn't stop singing all mm -hmm. day. I'm writing an idea, I'm waking up out of my sleep, I'm like, I gotta record this real quick, hold on, I go back to bed. Hold on, I'm watching movies all day, every day. Why is this guy such a good actor? Why is the lighting so mm -hmm. good? I just surround myself with things, the best versions of those things, whether it's films, whether it's actors, whether it's artists, whether it's musicians, and um, I just keep fine tuning. And I always say the only way to lose is to stop. My favorite uh, image on the planet is, the guy who's um, digging ferociously mm -hmm. and he's sweating mm -hmm. and there's like this much space between him and the jewels and he's right here and then there's a guy with this much space between him and the jewels and he turned around. He's walking the other way. He got tired and he left and he was this far from it. Wow. You know? And I'm, that image is one of my favorite images ever. And I'm just like, I'm that guy, but like always. I'm just, there's no, I mean. And I got people that look up to me, people that depend on me. And I don't feel too much pressure from that, but I'm honored to be in that space, to have my nephews and nieces and people around the world who don't know me be like, oh, I could I could do that, right? It is possible, so I carry that. I love that. That's you know? a really beautiful yeah. thing for people who are wanting to start something and like looking up to you. Yeah. I think that's so important because you're a role model to so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Final thing, give me the words yes. that you would tell your younger self on that note. What would you say? to your younger self, like what would your message be? My message would be uh, stay close to your family um, and I'd say <laughs> they're right sometimes, <laughs> more the times, what? my family. <laughs> they're right in some instances, <laughs> but I could have been like, they were wrong. <laughs> you know that is so true. Yeah. My mom's always right about who I should marry. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah. no, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, <laughs> they're right, they're right. And it's sometimes you, you as a, um, you know, as a, and me being the youngest, I'm always just like, no, I can do it well, my way, my mm -hmm. way. And you fall in love with trying to be your own person that it can sometimes get in the way of your, you making the best decisions wow. for yourself, you know? Wow. And I've noticed me doing that. Mm -hmm. For sure. And wow. Like, at times. Beautiful message. Thank you so much. I could do this all day. I can't yes. wait to have you back on. Yes. When you are, again, we'll do it maybe in like, I don't know when, maybe in eight months or something. We should do it after my next album. Perfect. Every time you drop a new album, you can come on and we can promote it. Yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's show as much as I have. The links, <laughs> the, it's because I haven't been on this table for so long. It makes such a nice sound. I love ASMR. If you. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for watching today. It's been so much fun. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna cut that clip and that's gonna get like 40 million clips. That's through. gonna be Have the you one. heard that? I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, no. <laughs> and then Natasha Graziano. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Wait, what's your nationality? I'm sorry, I know yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, I'm a mix of Greek, Cypriot, Lebanese, Russian, Jewish, okay. Italian. Okay, yeah. And that's where your last name comes from, is Italian. Yeah, so. and I'm just like a complete blend sick, of the mix cool. culture. Awesome. That's how you get this, honey. Yes. Thank you, guys. We'll see you again next week.